Howdy gang, it's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. And tonight we're talking about leadership. Yes, we are. We're going to talk about some leadership. Um, if you are in this tribe, the rest of us, uh, this show is for you if you don't like technology, uh, you love people, but technology always seems to get in the way. Now, here's a side note about the rest of us. Some of us, uh, while we're into personal development and growth, some of us don't think of ourselves as leaders yet. And the reason we don't think of ourselves as leaders is because we look out at the people who have led us, the, the, the people we've seen on stages at conferences, the people who wrote the books, and the people who have you know tens of thousands of followers, and we say to ourselves, well, I'm not that. And so then we have this internal dialogue with ourselves that we're not a leader. Or, or uh, we in our mind have a vision for all the people we wanna serve, we've created the goals, the vision boards, the things, we've done all the things to say, this is what I want to create, and then we look at our current reality, our current level of results, and we say our current level of results is not what I envision. And so because of that, I'm not a leader. Look, I, I'm not sure what uh, evidence you're using to decide whether you're a leader or not. But what I think for many of us uh, is that we are one, tough graders. We're hard on, our, we're hard on ourselves. Um, and two, I think we have impossible expectations for what we uh, think it should look like. So here's why this is important, right? Because ultimately you need to come to terms with the fact that you are a leader. A leader is as a leader does, right? A leader is as a leader does. Thank you, Forrest Gump. You are a leader if, right? A leader is as a leader does. And when we talk about marketing, marketing is you leading a conversation. It is you leading a conversation. Now, in the beginning of leading that conversation, there aren't that many people following. Some people chime in and say, great job making a video. Other people say, hey, this really resonated with me and this really made a difference for me. Thank you. But you still, listen, this is, I've seen this so many times now. <laughs> People will actually comment and engage with you on, on posts when you lead a conversation and you will still criticize and judge that because you're not getting the engagement you want or the likes you want or the, the amount of business you want that you are not a leader or that quote unquote, it's not working. <laughs> Guys, a leader, be, being a leader means one, that you, you take the initiative to facilitate the conversation, to lead people into paradigm shifts. And in the beginning, yeah, of course, it's not going to be like a bazillion people. Of course, of course. Anybody who's led anything from scratch knows that there is an initial ramp up period of you having to continue to share what you've seen so that other people can actually get it. And what, what a leader isn't is somebody who says, oh, well, I'm going to lead this conversation, but if it doesn't produce a result, I'm not going to lead the conversation anymore. No, a leader leads and they keep leading. Now, a salesperson, hear this, hear this distinction. A salesperson might show up for a week or a month or even a year and try something on. And if it doesn't produce a result, leave. They'd be like, ah, this isn't producing a result. I'm out of here. I didn't get a transaction or sale. I'm out of here. Okay. That makes sense to me if you are a salesperson. But if you, if you identify with a bigger calling than just selling something, as in you want to lead people to a new way of living, a new, a new paradigm, a, a changed life, some kind of transformation, then, then you are a leader. And you don't get to give up on those people. You don't get to give up on the calling simply because it didn't produce fruit today or this year. You guys, have, I've done episodes in the past where we've talked about how do you make an apple? How do you make an apple? You can't make an apple. You have to make a tree. But if you plant a tree today, it's gonna, if you plant an apple tree today, it will be a couple years minimum before that tree bears any fruit. But some of you don't are, think you can just lead by going to the grocery store and buying an apple. Doesn't work that way. Not in business. 
Listen, you could even go, quote unquote, buy a lead from somebody. But I'm telling you, it's uh, that has its own. You think that's the shortcut. Some of you think that's the shortcut. I'll just go buy a lead. First of all, that's expensive. And then you complain about the price. But second of all, right, if you buy a lead, the relationship with that lead is different than if you grow the lead. In other words, you value the tree and the fruit that the tree pro uh, provides if you're the one who planted the tree. And the fruit has a different relationship to you than the fruit that you just go buy at the store. I hope you, <laughs> hopefully this metaphor is making sense to you, right? There is something different about the experience of, of leading people versus buying leads, okay? And you, friend, are a leader. You're a leader. You wouldn't be listening to this show if you, you would be listening to some sales podcast or some other, you know, cheap trick marketing podcast, this show for the rest of us, this is for us who have a heart to see change in humanity. And so you are a leader, friend, and, and you don't get to quit when something doesn't show up. Leadership is continuing to go. You keep going and you keep going. And the thing that helps you keep going is is the calling. It's the thing that's deep in your soul that says, this is what my life is for. If you don't know what that is, and then you try to do marketing, well, then of course you're gonna quit halfway down when you don't get the kind of engagement that you want. Of course, because there's nothing bigger calling you than a transaction. You're like, well, I need to, I, I need to pay my bills. Yeah, but you know what's interesting? In all the years, uh, when things got tight financially and things were super interesting financially for me, there was this calling that kept me in the game right? There was this calling that didn't let me quit. I'm like, ah, I, 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 I could go just get a job. Sure. But there's something bigger pulling me forward. And so friend, that is you leading. And what I want you to hear, if you wrestle with that conversation of like, ah, I'm not a leader, is that leadership is simply you showing up and acting, right? D acting the part, like doing the work of a leader, Leadership as is as leadership does. Leadership is as leadership does. That's what it is. So you don't have to feel like a leader to be a leader. Okay? So so bring all your anxiety, bring all your all your feelings about um, whatever it is, all your anxiety, all the things that have you feel like you're not a leader. Bring that with you. That's cool. And then just do it anyway because doing it anyway is what leaders do. And over time, what'll happen is that will shift for you and you'll move from this feeling of uncertainty. If you go back to my episode on uncertainty, you'll, you'll move from this place of feeling uncertain about it all and you've lived in that uncertainty long enough leading, you've been leading in that uncertainty you feel for long enough that it starts to feel certain. You're like, I don't feel uncertain anymore. Now I feel like I'm a leader. I'm certain that I'm a leader. But that just happens by you continuing to show up and not checking out. That's what leaders do. Leaders keep showing up. Thanks for hanging out with me in this episode. Until tomorrow, when we go out uh, and post our truth to the world again, here's to you finding your way as a leader.